While North Korea sees its rocket launch as a peaceful bid to put a satellite in space, the U.S. and others call it a provocation, a violation of U.N. resolutions, and perhaps an ominous sign of things to come. The success of this satellite launch will say a lot about whether the North Koreans can successfully transfer this into military applications for the use of intercontinental ballistic missiles. Experts like Victor Cha, who has just written a book about North Korea, say the rocket is similar to one that could be used to fire a nuclear-tipped missile at the U.S. or other targets. It's very possible that they could follow this very soon after with a nuclear test. And again, I think the purpose of this would be sort of a fait accompli attempt to really establish themselves as a bona fide nuclear weapon state with delivery technology. Something it failed to do both in 2006 and 2009, when it also carried out launches followed in short order by nuclear tests. Experts say the North's technology has gotten better since then, and it's looking for a show of force for its new young leader, while putting other leaders like President Obama in a bind. If they do nothing, they will be criticized for doing nothing. Uh, if they go back to talks, they will be criticized for appeasement. And if they respond in a forceful way, people will say you're pulling the United States into another, in, into another unwanted conflict. So, you know, North Korea truly is a land of lousy, lousy options. One option that will be off the table is a deal for the U.S. to give food aid to the North. The president has already said that uh, to follow through with this, uh, with this act would uh, make it virtually impossible for the United States to uh, provide the nutritional assistance that uh, we had planned to provide. Some experts figure the North will get slapped with more U.N. resolutions, but what it's really looking for is leverage before returning to the bargaining table. Sagar Magani, Associated Press, Washington.